Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming my new makeup releases video, so if you guys like chatting about new makeup releases, this is the place for you. Highly recommend subscribing, turning on that bell so you're notified every time I post, and without further blabbering, let's get into it. So in case you're wondering, Karen, how did you create this gorgeous, stunning, amazing eye look? I know it's coming soon. It might be tomorrow's video, or if it's up already, I'll link it in my description box. But this is a eye look I created with a very exciting neutral palette. So stay tuned for that if it's not up already. Otherwise, I will link it down in the description box for you guys to check out. So let's go ahead and get started with some new makeup releases. I'm filming this the day after Instagram and Facebook were down and like the world just like lost its mind and didn't know what to do. So I feel like we missed out on a whole bunch of makeup releases just cause like Mondays are usually the days when brands like sneak peek and announce their upcoming collections. So I feel like I'm gonna miss out on a bunch of new makeup launches that get announced during the rest of the week but that's okay we can cover those next tuesday so we've got the new Too Faced holiday sets they're available according to trend mood now on sephora so it looks like there's a bunch of things there's this new like bronzer and lippy set called you're so hot the bronzer i'm assuming it's a bronzer is so cute it has like a little coffee mug they're also doing a set of liquid lipsticks which i used to like love buying those but i have every single lipstick shade i could ever want so that one's a pass for me and then they have their Too Faced like holiday palette with a bunch of shades and a bunch of blush products in it and then it looks like they did their mini eyeshadow palette sets as well. So there's two mini eyeshadow palettes and a blush set. Um, they have all kinds of ornaments, all the things. If I remember, I'll try and link them down in the description box for you guys in case you're interested in buying any of these. I totally remember a time when I was so, so interested in holiday sets. I've been looking at the ones that have come out this year and I know my friend Angie had mentioned in a, one of her videos that she wanted to do like holiday sets she would recommend so I've been like waiting to see like what holiday sets that I would be interested in I haven't really seen anything it's so funny because I don't know I just don't buy sets anymore like I used to but I used to be really into them so I I can relate <laughs> but anyway there's the Better Than Sex Ornament for $14, Better Than Sex Bolt for $78, Plumping Station to Go $32, Stuff My Stocking $30, Holly Jolly Hangover Set for $29, Hangover Pillow Balm Lip Balm Set for $35, Christmas in the City Makeup Set. Those are the ones that like people, I remember like Casey Holmes and like Madison Miller filmed like dedicated videos on these sets. Melted in Paris Longwear Liquid Lipstick Set. $25 Killer Lashes and Liner Mascara and Eyeliner Duo. All I want for Christmas are Sexy Lips and Lashes set. Oh my god. Uh, to be the person at Too Faced coming up with all these names. Anyway, anyway, there's a lot. I'm, I'm gonna stop now. Here's something I'm a little bit curious about. This is the new Fenty Beauty Glossy Posse Fantasy Foursome Limited Edition $38. Um, like lippy set so there's a full-size gloss bomb in the cream color drip lip cream in candy milk which looks really pretty and then three minis in the mini gloss bomb universal lip luminizer so we've got fenty glow fantasy hot chocolatey fantasy and champ stamp fantasy those look so pretty i do think these are a little bit more tan girl friendly options compared to some of the shades they've had in the little gift sets from previous years so very very curious i don't know if that's at sephora yet oh yeah it is at sephora so maybe i'll buy it but again i don't i don't need i don't need another lip gloss so i probably actually won't i just talked myself out of it i'm sorry guys if you were expecting me to talk about it and review it it's not happening <laughs> but i'm sure somebody out there that makes those big like gift set videos will review it for you guys okay so we have a new launch coming from ColourPop. And it's called the Play Jewel Eyeshadow Palette 30 Mattes and Shimmery Shades. And they're also going to do an eye primer, which I think this is new for them. I don't think they've done eye primer before, have they? So there's a translucent, a caramel shade, and a deep shade. So there's three options as far as their 
eyeshadow primer. I would love to try their eyeshadow primer, except I have so many eyeshadow primers that I would probably have to declutter some before I buy any more. So I'm gonna try and pass on that. But this palette, I saw somebody compare it to It's a Mood and I, I definitely see the vibes. The white packaging is interesting. Like I don't know that I love that for the packaging. The outer packaging looks really pretty. It's got like a kaleidoscope kind of vibe on the front so i'm very curious to see how that ends up looking i don't know if they were sneak peeking it but i like to look at color pops photos too and then people get them in pr so very very curious about that palette but for now i think i'm going to pass on it next we have a new collection between makeup revolution and the Simpsons, this is the Treehouse of Horror collection. I actually saw this all at my Ulta store. The eyeshadow palettes didn't have like displays, but the collection was available at my local Ulta and it still didn't tempt me. So easy pass for me, but there's brushes, lashes, glosses, lipsticks, eyeshadow palettes galore. And I don't know, maybe if you're a horror lover or you love the Simpsons or you really like to collect Makeup Revolution products, I can totally see this appealing to many, many people. It just doesn't really appeal to me. Next is the new MAC collection. This is the one that they did with Rosalie. And I talked about this because I saw it launched at Ulta. So there's some lippies, there's some nail polish, there's an eyeshadow palette, there's a highlighter palette. I'm sure somebody's going to review this. Personally, not interested, but it exists, so we talked about it. Next is the collection between Hip Dot and the Adams Family. I, for real, thought this was a Kat Von D collection or a KVD Vegan Beauty collection, just because that one um, box set looks very much like her palette from, what was it, like her 20th anniversary collection. So this is Spells and Hicks's pigment palette for $24. There's eight shades. There's also the Morticia Lipstick Trio, and then you can get the whole collection for $58. I'm a big fan of the Adams Family, so I think this is a cool idea. Definitely not my color story as far as the products go. So I'm gonna be passing on that, but I just wanted to let you guys know that that is available. This I thought was really cool. So Sol de Janeiro collabed with Lights Lacquer, and they launched a basically limited edition nail polish and a hand cream to go with it and it's that really fun bright yellow shade that Sol de Janeiro is packaged in. I think that's like a really cool opportunity for Lights Lacquer and I don't know I feel like Sol de Janeiro is a bit of a bigger brand so I think that's really cool. I don't need any of those products but hey whatever. Next we have another hand cream. This is by Fenty. It's called the Hydra, Hydrarist, Hydratist Intensive Recovery Hand Mask. Oh, it's a hand mask. Moisturizing skin treatment that helps rescue dry, stressed hands overnight. That might be something my husband would actually like. So that is launching October 8th for $22. Then we have this cute little Too Faced palette called the Christmas Coffee Mini. This is $27. I saw this in person. It's cute, but it wasn't cute enough for me to buy, so easy pass on that. Then we have this new eyeshadow palette, the VIP Expert Palette Bonjour Party by, by Terry. This looks really pretty, like it's a very pretty neutral palette. Everything looks like it's a satin shade, so I could totally see people doing like a one eyeshadow look with these, but I don't even wanna know how much this, oh, it's only $56, that's actually not bad. I'm pleasantly surprised because I was thinking like $150. <laughs> anyway, easy pass for me. So on to the next one, I did buy this. This is the new Lunar Beauty Moonspell Volume 2 collection. I'm so excited for this palette, I did tweet because sometimes your girl tweets that um, we've actually picked out our baby's name. We picked it out a while ago and her name is actually in the palette, which I thought was like so cute. I actually bought the palette before I knew her name was in there, but it was like icing on the cake, you know? So if you guys are feeling like uh, investigating or feeling nosy, go check out Manny's video <laughs> and see if you can guess what name we picked out for our baby. <laughs> Gosh, it feels weird to say. <laughs> anyway, go figure out if you can figure out what name we picked. I think that the way I see it is it's a perfect fit for his brand. 
Obviously, a lot of us have this color story in our collection already, but when I think of all the palettes that Manny's launched through Lunar Beauty, I think this palette perfectly fits in, and I love the packaging. It's so beautiful. I can't wait to get my hands on it. My palette's supposed to be here next Monday, so hopefully I can get a video up for you guys. I was so tempted to get the Hallow's Eve lipstick, the liquid lipstick, but I just bought Alien Cosmetics Pumpkin and Leaves, and I feel like that shade Pumpkin is very close to Hallow's Eve, so I couldn't justify owning both of them, so I did end up passing, but I think the eyeshadow palette looks really good, and I cannot wait to get my hands on it. Then we have the Holiday 2021 Sephora favorite set so there's a bunch of stuff in here this looks like it's a lot of fun but honestly I can tell you I don't need any of those products but I do think that if you don't have a ton of makeup this is a fun way to try a few things so there is a Fenty Beauty full frontal volume lift and curl mascara in a full size Kosas wet lip oil plumping treatment gloss dip We've got a beauty blender in there, Benefit Cosmetics Mini 24-hour brow setter, Natasha Denona Biba 3-pan eyeshadow palette, NARS bronzer powder in Laguna, which is too light for me. We have the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer in a mini size, Dr. Jar color correcting treatment, Grande Cosmetics Grande Lash, and the Way Detangling and Fizz Fighting Leave-In Conditioner. So yeah, that's a fun set. I think it's like 50 four dollars so that's cool and if you have a sephora coupon you could probably save some money and get your hands on that next is the new palette from jacqueline hill i can't remember if i talked about this i feel like i did in my last video but maybe i didn't she launched the divine neutrals eyeshadow palette with morphe and there's 12 neutral shades six shimmery and six mattes for 18 dollars I know there's a few of my subscribers that really want me to try this palette, but I've been buying a lot of Morphe recently because I bought the Coke palette, I bought the Sour Patch palette, and I bought the Ashley Strong palette. I still need to try the Ashley Strong palette. I tried the Coke palette and that one's really good. The Sour Patch was a huge disappointment. So we've got one like hit and one miss. So the Ashley Strong palette is going to help me decide if I would ever buy another Morphe palette anytime soon because I feel like the Coke palette I was really excited about. Um, so I'll keep you guys posted. I still haven't filmed with that palette so I feel kind of bad to buy even more Morphe makeup without trying it. So once I try it, if it's good, I will let you guys know. Next we have this beautiful collection from Glamlight. I know I talked about this in my last Will I Buy It? I'm pretty sure. So it did launch. And I haven't checked to see if it sold out or anything, but I know I got shipping notification. I don't know if that means it's actually like on its way to me. I don't think it's like moved from the post office yet, but as soon as I get them, because I just got the eyeshadow palettes, I definitely want to film with them. They look so fun. I do have a code with Glamlight. They don't send me PR or anything, but I do have a code. So if you are considering shopping these and you use my code KHMAKEUP, you save some money and I make a commission and that really helps me out. So just wanted to mention that to you guys. Next we have the Ultra Suede Lip Collection from Makeup by Mario. I did talk about this last week so now we can actually purchase these. I thought the price point was kind of funny for lipstick. Like $24 seems a little higher than some of his other products. So I wasn't very excited about the price point. So I'm going to go ahead and pass on those for now. And then I did end up buying the Made by Mitchell Milk Collection. Is that what it's called? And then there's like some makeup organizers and things like that. But I was really interested in the eyeshadow palette, so I did buy that. And then we have some new things on Beauty Bay. So that's how I ended up making a Beauty Bay order because I bought the Mitchell palette and I bought these two new eyeshadow palettes from Beauty Bay which I'm so so excited about. So they launched two new palettes, the Age of Opulence, um, which is a part of their Christmas collection and these look so stunning. I can't wait to get my hands on them. A lot of people were saying it looks like the Book of Magic palette which I have and is gorgeous so I will definitely be comparing that and then there's a little neutral palette. I can't remember what the neutral palette is called but I got both of them and then I got the Mitchell palette so 
I'm gonna be a busy camper when that collection comes in. I cannot wait to play with that package. And then we have a new collection or a new eyeshadow palette that they're teasing, which is a collaboration between Jade and Beauty Base. This is a Zodiac inspired palette and it looks like she's a Capricorn, which I am a Capricorn. So I'm very, very excited. This palette, I thought for a second when I saw it, that it kind of looked like the Manifest palette from Be Perfect. I don't know, something about it just reminded me of that palette. So I believe this launches on Monday, October 11th at 8 a.m. BST and it'll be available on Beauty Bay and I think I might get it. I don't know, it's a very big colorful palette so it's not exactly something I need but you guys know I can't help myself. I love buying Beauty Bay palettes so I think I'll probably end up getting that. Then we have a sneak peek for the Glaminatrix Silent Night palette. Oh my gosh, this shade is revealed from their Christmas palette and it's a beautiful deep forest green matte. Oh my god, it looks so stunning. I cannot wait to see this palette once it's done. So yeah, I got my eye on that for sure. This one, I posted a video on just the other day. So BH Cosmetics, I think this is an exclusive to Ulta. I haven't seen it come to BH's website, but they launched a Halloween collection. And so they have six palettes and an eyebrush set. So we've got the Poison Shop collection. According to Dupe That, this is going to be available on BH.com this week. So I'm assuming... This was posted two days ago at the time I'm filming this, so sometime. I'll keep my eye out because you guys have been asking actually if this was a Alta exclusive and as far as I could tell it was, but it looks like it's coming to the BH website, so hopefully everyone overseas will be able to get their hands on it as well. Uh, but I bought the Absinthe palette. I was gonna get all of them, but then I saw that some of them were available at my Alta store, so I actually went to Alta. And when I was at Ulta, I saw the green one. I think I saw that like red one and I saw the purple one. The shimmers in the purple one reminded me a lot of the pink palette in the Sweet Shops. And then the I think the red pink one was just like eh. So I went with the green one because I was like, okay, green palettes I love. And I have so many things I can compare them to. So I just bought the green one. The quality was oh so good so happy with the quality and i would love to own all of these but i don't need to so i don't want to buy any more but i would highly recommend checking out the video i did with the green eyeshadow palette and i would love to get that grungy one but i don't need it i don't need it i have so many eyeshadow palettes i still need to review for you guys so i figured just like trying out the one palette would give me a good idea of what the quality was like and I can very very confidently say that I really enjoyed the green palette so if you guys have your eye on that it is coming soon to the BH website so that's really awesome okay so this is probably the last thing I'm going to talk about in today's video we have a sneak peek from Nabla Cosmetics so it says are you ready tune in for the revelation October 6th so we'll have to wait and see that is tomorrow I'm very interested it looks like it might be something neutral um, just based off of again like that kaleidoscope vibe so yeah kind of got my eye on that you guys know I'm a big fan of the Nabla brand so um, that is that on that but I also have the Gucci eyeshadow palette in my little bucket <laughs> I don't know I'm, I'm really curious about the Gucci eyeshadow palette because at first I thought it was boring but then I got to thinking and I was like you know what I really liked a lot of the Gucci makeup and I don't mind having it just to even collect it so I'm very very curious these swatches though hmm hmm We'll have to see. I haven't decided yet. I might just throw it into my bag because I do have a friends and family coupon. Somebody was so kind and sent me one. So we'll see. Maybe I'll be reviewing that on my channel. I don't know yet. But yeah, that is it for all of the new releases that I spotted this week. Thank you guys so, so much for checking out this video. Let me know what new launches you picked up in the last few days or if there's something you're excited about that you're waiting to launch 
I love chatting to you guys in my comment section. Thank you guys so, so much for checking out this video and I will see you in my next video soon. Bye guys!